$42,000 is what Park Rapids Group Partners for Pianos hopes to raise by the end of the year to buy a new concert grand piano. Our Mary Keeler was in Park Rapids today to witness one of their efforts to achieve that goal. For 45 years, Park Rapids has been accompanying community events and school concerts with the same piano. It's because of that that people decided to take matters into their own hands, forming partners for pianos. We thought this would be a proactive way of getting the funds there and doing it quickly. It seemed like uh, a good time for us to step up to the plate and uh, help raise funds for this piano that's been needed for a while. They've been asking the people of Park Rapids to donate whatever they can and they've already raised half of the funds but needed more help asking the Rotary Board to step in. Park Rapids prides itself with our artisans and the school is a conduit for that to happen. For some it was a no-brainer to write a check for something so vital for the rhythm of the community. For a small community in the woods of northern Minnesota, this community has a remarkable amount of commitment to the arts. And as part of the presentation, the lyrics of Billy Joel's Piano Man were spruced up for the cause with lyrics like, well, we're all in the mood for a melody, a new piano will be all right. We rewrote some of the words, my husband and I, who's also co-chairing it, to the Piano Man, and we will have the Rotarians singing it today. The graciousness and the generosity of the community is absolutely overwhelming and amazing. Partners for Pianos also wants to purchase a studio piano, which will be priced out after funding goals are achieved. But for now, the message is clear. We need to raise a lot of money, so people have to really pony up and do what they can. In Park Rapids, Mary Keeler, Lakeland News. The group's chairperson say that if they get an additional $7,000 in donations, they will move forward and purchase the concert grand piano. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.